An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Nice to meet you, Judy. Hello, how are you doing? Very good. And you are? Larry. Larry, yeah. You married too, or just no, lovers? Yeah. Just not. Just love it. <laughs> <laughs> Get a bit personal. <laughs> Need an adjustment of the jacket there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, calm down. Calm down. So what have we got here then, Laura? Well, this looks like it uh, contains an ink of some sort. So my guess would be that this would sit on a bureau. Maybe quills would have gone in here. And um, I can't, I can't really tell what kind of what it is but um yeah i guess that it would be something to to keep all your stationary bits in and what do you call it i call it a desk tidy i think that's a better way of putting it it's nice a desk isn't it tidy. desk tidy i think it's very good actually mm -hmm. and obviously put your pens and that you put your ink in there mm -hmm. and you put your nibs in there and maybe a bit of um some sort of powder years ago Mm. Yeah, to we, set the ink. Just dry the ink off. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little, never a little jar in it for the for the powder to dry mm. the ink. Dry the ink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah just tap mm. it onto the. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little blotter or something maybe. Mm -hmm. So that's. But I think the idea of desktop is nice. I like the idea of that. You put your yeah, I'll, I'll bits of piece in there. Yeah. Do we know where it's from? So Ask Laura. For, uh, Laura first. Tunbridge. Uh, she knows about Tunbridge. Mm. Mm. Is that because of the? Like fine mosaic of the patterning in the wood there. That's it, yeah. Makes it Tunbridge wear. Mm -hmm. And you idea of the date? 1850? I don't know. It's quite good actually. It's it's Chet knows what he's got, yeah, yeah. Probably 1850. Is that about right? 18, it is actually, yeah. It's not because some of this stuff has been made into the 20th century, you know, mm, Tunbridge yeah. wear. Yeah, but I think this is an earlier piece, isn't it? I think it's an earlier piece, you're yeah. right? Yeah. Now, why I tell it's an earlier piece is because the inlay is bigger. Like these pieces here, these big um, symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Inlays. I didn't do that busy inlay. This is this is. She says like like um, very small pieces. Mm -hmm. And these are, these are bigger pieces here. See them. Yeah. So there's a difference in mm. in the way they inlaid. Early on there was like this pattern of inlay means it's mm -hmm. early tumbridge wear, and later they had this pattern of tumbridge wear. Oh, well, so I mean, call that actually tumble in dice. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're probably right. Actually, tumbling yeah, yeah. Dice, yeah. It's a nice name for it. Yeah. But, um, that's a nice piece, you know. So um, it is collectible. People collect tumbage wear, though. Yes, they, they do. Mm. But the thing against this sort of thing, I'm not being negative about it. Mm. They do oh, collect tumbage wear. With, with tumbage wear, it's got to be perfect. It's mm. got to be perfect. Mm. It's quite a few. And also, people collect it for the design of the tumbage box wear boxes. You've seen mm. the boxes, haven't you? Mm. Mm. Yes. You haven't seen it, nor have you. We show you some boxes one day where you've got all the castles on top of it, or yeah. tumbage castle. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. They're nice, aren't they? Exactly. And people collect yeah. the scenes in. That's right. So they have a collection of boxes. You yep. think they all look the same to me and you, mm. but everyone's a little different scene in, yes, in Penzer's place right. or something. Yeah. 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 And you get a rare one, might be Heaver Castle, for instance. Mm. Yeah. And all of yeah. a sudden, that's where. We saw right. a Heaver Castle one recently. Yeah. Is that quite unusual? Very nice. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm just going to top of my head as we're talking to me, so mm. don't, you know, don't yeah. research on things, but that's the sort yes. of thing. Yeah. yeah. But make a difference in value, see? So this is a nice, it's early piece. You know. But they're damaged. Would these be ivory? Yeah, definitely over. Yeah, yeah. be honest. Yeah, I don't. They're contemporary to the thing. I don't. They must be contemporary, but they look too big, don't they? Almost. Mm. Mm. You know, I would not take it apart, but there's no point really. But it is what it is—a decorative piece. Mm. Yes. Desk tidy. Yes. Quite early tumbage wear. Mm. 1850. Value in nowadays. If I see the auction, it probably makes between three and five hundred. Would that sound about right in your mind? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know, is it something you want to sell at some stage, or do you I want to think more about selling it, it for the right price? Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, what's the right price? I don't know. Four hundred. Four two five. Whose money is this, by the way, Ron? It's his money. Yes. I've just yeah. asked. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to go to four hundred. To be honest, yeah. Right. You know, let's start again. You can <laughs> count. Start again. So, um, I said three to five hundred. I think it's worth, right? Mm -hmm. And what was you really expecting? I don't know. Yeah, a couple under one, you really, because it's the condition of it. Condition so you, of it. Doesn't you can't repair this stuff. Yeah. So I know it looks. Mm. 
Realistically, you deserve that, mm. that lid repaired. Yes. You're talking a yeah, over £100 yeah. repair of the lid. Mm, unfortunately. That crack is always going to be there. You can try and disguise it somewhere. So you've got to remember the, the damage on these things, Laura. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you're going to repair it for me. Absolutely. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, you can't repair it, can you? Know yourself, you know? Uh, no, 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 no. So I'll be looking at, seriously, the end of my art, I'll be saying like 300 quid. And I think I'm really on the. because the condition of it. You know. Is that your top price? That's it, me out of it. You know, if you like it, take it. If you don't, I'll don't take, take it. I think you would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've you nearly cost me 120 quid, dear. Well, thanks for coming anyway. Thank you. All right, thanks for coming, my dear. Nice Cheers. To have met you. And yourself. And you. Nice. nice to have met you. Thank you.